Hi, I'm John Pettuccino, Professor of Astronomy at College of the Redwoods. This YouTube series will cover material that we cover in our Introduction to Astronomy class, from a meteorite found in Antarctica from the planet Mars and the search for life, all the way through to supernovas and black holes. In this video, we'll be discussing a meteorite from Mars. If you remember from class lecture, that meteorite was named ALH. 84001,0. Now, even the name is loaded with information. ALH stands for where the meteorite was found. If you remember from lecture, this was found in the Allen Hills. And the Allen Hills were where? That's correct, Antarctica. So, in the Allen Hills of Antarctica in 1984, a meteorite was found. Uh, that meteorite was the first meteorite found that year, and the meteorite piece that we were discussing in class was the original piece, hence the comma zero. So again, the naming schema of the meteorites is important. ALH 84001,0. The first question we talked about in class was, how the heck do we know this thing's a meteorite? If you remember from class, we recognized that there was a fusion crust a blackened crust on the outside of the meteorite, that fusion crust told us it had passed through the Earth's atmosphere. The next question was, how old is the meteorite? Uh, and there were a number of ages associated with this meteorite that you are responsible for. Number one, the meteorite itself is made out of a common, uh, a common type of rock, uh, present all over the Earth, uh, and that rock was a whopping 4.5 billion years old. So the meteorite itself was 4.5 billion years old. Perhaps more importantly, we noted that there were carbonates in the meteorite, and those carbonates were 3.6 billion years old. So again, from lecture, carbonates were 3.6 billion years old, and those carbonates, of course, were the ones that had the treasure trope that we're talking about. This thing was in space for 15 million years. And lastly, it sat on the surface of Antarctica for approximately 13,000 years before discovery in 1984. So important numbers associated with this meteorite, 4.5 billion year old meteorite, the rock, 3.6 billion year old carbonates, 15 million years for travel through space, and of course, lastly, 13,000 years sitting on the surface of the Earth. Uh, the question might be, now that we know it's a meteorite, how do we know it's from Mars? If you remember from class lecture, there are small trace gases that are found inside the meteorite, and those trace gases match the Martian atmosphere. So, we know it's a meteorite from the fusion crust. We know it's Martian because of the trace gases that match the Martian atmosphere found by Viking in 1976. And then last question might be, well, how did it get here? And we decided in class, though we tested the hypothesis of the potential for a volcanic eruption off the surface, that it's much more likely, in fact, it is uh, uh, thought to be, that this meteorite was blasted off the surface by an impact. What makes this meteorite interesting? Well, we recognize that carbonates form on Earth almost solely in the presence of water. So carbonates, carbonates excuse me, suggest that we're talking about the presence of liquid water on the surface of Mars 3.6 billion years ago. What was intriguing about those carbonates is the images that we looked at during class, which suggested that some of those carbonates had within them the potential for small microfossils. So again, the thinking here is that 3.6 billion years ago, during a wet time on the surface of Mars, life potentially existed, uh, and this meteorite is record of that brought to the Earth by an impact. And so what we talked about in class following that was, what is the evidence for life? Is it more than just those images? Yes. Uh, there was geochemical evidence. There was straight up chemical evidence. There was some biological evidence that microfossils could in fact be created in this manner. Uh, and there's a host of sort of uh, circumstantial evidence that points to the possibility that, in fact, this could be evidence of life on Mars. 
3.6 billion years ago. In our next segment, we'll talk about, in more general form, what are the requirements for life in the universe?